glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. If I could offer one piece of advice to the training staff of both of these teams, I have the ice baths ready. This is going to be a hard-hitting game. There will be bruises and slobber knockers and snot bubbles at every turn. If you like hitting, you're about to see plenty of it. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Site for this college football matchup. And now let's head down to the coin talk. Brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Thompson is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. He's to the 20. At the 30, he's got the corner. And they push him out around the 40-yard line. Senior class taking the home field for the final time. And no matter what you've done before, you always want to get a win in your last home game. We'll see how they do. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Here we go. Cut. Fuller off the fake. Fuller's in a running here for a prestigious award, Herbie, but you don't want to think about that right now. He's got to stay focused and keep the task at hand in front of him, and that's winning the ball game. Second and ten. Ball on their own 40. Knocked out of bounds around the 46-yard line. This is a great illustration of how powerful this young man is. If you try to arm tackle him, then he won't go down. You have to put your body in front of him. stop at the 32. Very well designed play that time to give them a first down. Linemen executed their blocks nicely and it went for a good game. From the 32 yard line, it's first down. Church gets another carry. Tackle at the 22 yard line. And that'll be a gain of 10 by the running back. out to around the 12. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, it, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 12. And he carries the ball for a nice game. on the extra point. 
So that's a seven play 61 yard drive and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Caught at the eight. He's out to the 30. Tackle made at the 37 yard line. Well, here comes the guy that we've all been waiting for. Our player to watch this game. Mosley's vision, his patience, Kirk behind center, really makes him a complete player. And Brad, both of those attributes are especially important anytime you're out on the road and you're playing in a hostile environment. This kid is really cool under pressure, and no matter how loud this crowd's going to get today, I don't think he's going to have much of a problem of blocking them out and playing his game. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He's pushed out of bounds around the 42-yard line. First down. Scrambling around. Slides down to the ground. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what. In today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. go with the runner he's taken down behind the line man did he play that perfectly or what as a linebacker you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis which is exactly what he did on that play Slings it. And they'll get him in the backfield. Taking back three yards. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. So they're going to go for it here. The Cornhuskers have one of the most dangerous offensive weapons in the entire country under center today. This kid is really fun to watch. He's fun to watch unless you're a defensive coordinator. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a great chess match between the offensive and defensive coordinators today. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Up the middle. He makes it to the 32-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. From their own 32-yard line, second down. Iowa is up seven. Here we go. Green 90. Green 90. Check, check. Snake on. Snake on. Handoff inside. And he's tackled at the 43-yard line. So the run goes for a big first down. The offensive line opened up some nice lanes to run through as well. Nice play. the run right side and down he goes at the 46 yard line we've got a first and ten ball on the 46 yard line and he's tackled after positive yardage this game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter Iowa's lead is a touchdown
Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. And he's taken down right around the 40. About a yard there on the quarterback keeper. About four yards away here on third down. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 33 yard line. Seven points. Nice run up the middle. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. play of this drive. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That brings him second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 17. yard line it's the 11th play of the drive setting up the play action and he is drilled at the seven yard line first down and they'll be looking for six points here he's scrambling and he's gonna be sacked he just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down boy excellent play by the defense here a few extra seconds and those receivers might have been open Second down, goal to go. Ball on the 11-yard line. Iowa is up a score. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. And here's the 14th play of the drive. I love to see the offense try to get the football to the tight end here. These guys can do a lot of damage to the defense, but this time, the defense does a really good job of separating the big fella from the football. Iowa can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. Kicks up, and it's good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Quick throw. He's taken down right around the 32-yard line. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, it's a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. 
quickly to the tight end, incomplete. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. He's to the 40. Tackle made at the 43. That makes it first and 10. He's going to try and scramble. They'll bring him down at about the 47-yard line. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball in their own 47. He's on the run, and they got him. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Now he's scrambling, and they got him. How about the intensity of the pass rush? This guy's got to show some senior leadership out there and regroup his offensive linemen. They're getting outplayed right now. Lee waiting the return. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Hey. On the throw, incomplete pass. Can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. Let's go! Green 90! Green 90! And he tackles him hard at the 26. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Makes it to the 44. The Hawkeyes are going to call their second timeout from their own 44-yard line. First down. Here's the halfback on the screen. And they make the stop around the 47-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. Let's see if the quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. He wants it all going long. Almost intercepted. We've played a half of football here. The Hawkeyes with a 10-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And, and it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin and they better value that thing because yeah you give it away and bad things happen that'll do it here in the studio at halftime we'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half got a lot of games to watch including yours Brad and Kirk ready for the second half all right Reese and David welcome back everybody just about set to start the second half 
Hall takes it from the six. He's taken down at the 30. Iowa is the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. He's to the 40. Now he shows his running ability. He's knocked out of bounds at the 39. Perfectly run option keeper. Not what you'd expect when you prepare all week to defend the option. But then again, give this offense some credit. These guys aren't exactly the scout team. First down and 10 to go after the big gain on the run. Quickly to the tailback. Tackle at the 31 yard line. That makes it second and two. This one's going deep to the end zone. He caught it for the touchdown. They pretty much had their way with the defense there. Terrific play. The draw within a field goal. He splits the uprights with the extra point. With a three-play, 70-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Nebraska lines up for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 35. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Iowa holds a field goal lead. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. That brings up second and nine. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. the tailback he's at the 40 and he's brought down at the 28 first down 10 to go ball on the 28 Handed off. Nice run, and he's brought down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he hits him hard at the 15 yard line. From the 15-yard line, it's first down. Iowa is up a field goal. Let's go! Green, idiot! He gets out to about the 12-yard line. the carry. They'll drop him for a loss. 
Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Three down, three down. 23 the mic. Check, check. Stay on. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Kicks away, and it's through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 32. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They'll knock him down for a loss. Second and 11. Ball on the 31-yard line. There's a strike complete. He's down. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes. Right around the 48-yard line. That's a gain of 13 on the play. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on their own 48. We're headed to the fourth quarter, and both of these defenses are still stealing the show. Iowa leads it 13-7. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. And he's tackled right around the 40. That's good for him. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 40 yard line. Taken down at the 31. That brings up second and one. Pulls it in and gets out of bounds. Gaining four yards. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. Tackled after a decent pickup. That'll bring up second and three. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's tackled at about the 17 yard line. Three yards. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 17. He makes it out to maybe the 16 yard line. That makes it second and 10. Here's play number 10 on the drive.
They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. Touchdown, and we've got a tie ball game. The kicker on the field. He'll try to put his team up by a point. And he hits the PAT. A 10-play, 67-yard drive. And a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Lee takes it at the four. He's tackled at the 27-yard line. Well, I can say this much, Kirk. At least it's tight in the fourth quarter. Well, it is a close game, and neither team's been able to get anything going, whether it's running the football or throwing, and look up at the scoreboard. And at least, as you said, Brad, it's a close game. Who can make a play late to win it? This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Just under three to go in regulation. Quick strike to the receiver. He gets hit out of bounds around the 33-yard line. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Down at about the 39 yard line. He's taken down right around the 46 yard line. Six yard line. First down. Ready. Red 68. Hot red 68. Hot. Couldn't hang on here in the fourth quarter. A great tackle at the 44. Third and long, and this is where you earn your money if you're the offensive coordinator. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. A little over a minute in the game. Ready, bring the hurt. They'll bring him down at about the 29 yard line. From the 29 yard line, first down. is out to the tailback on the screen. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 22-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. three yards to pick up the first down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Check, check. Stingray. Stingray. Motion, motion, motion. 
He's wrapped up for the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. To get back in this game in the fourth quarter, this third and long is huge. Hands it to the back. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. and now the offense has got a chance to win it. There's the timeout we were all expecting. They'll try to ice it with a timeout here. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. If they field the kick here, a touchdown return is their only chance at victory. Oh, from the six. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. And this one's all but wrapped up. The Hawkeyes come out on top. 16-14. Let's get Kirk Herbstreit's final thoughts on this one. Herbie, what do you got for us? Well, we got about what we thought we'd get. Two evenly matched teams fighting hard in a very close game. Iowa was not going to win this game easily, and they knew that. They had to scrap and should be proud to come out on top. Both teams should be proud of their effort. going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kerbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.